another beautiful day in Culver City. Shout out to my friends at Amazon. Shout out to Jeff Bezos. All right. So, uh, some thoughts, some thoughts, some thoughts. Uh, yeah, so it looks like the iPad mini. What, what? Some of the. It's coming out. Good news, good news for Apple. I mean, it looks like Apple's not dead yet. By MicroStrategy, the MSTR. Michael Saylor, just go to uh, michael.com. He has a pretty good new Bernstein interview transcription that I've been watching. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, everything's gonna be fire. Just keep buying Bitcoin until you die, hold it forever. And uh, the goal is try to accumulate at least 20 Bitcoins, 50 Bitcoins, 100 Bitcoins, 1,000 Bitcoins, get a million Bitcoins uh, is the goal. People's like, what's the point, right? It's like, it's like you should be grateful for what you have. And I'm like, why would Apple want to keep indefinitely selling more iPhones and profits, right? So don't listen to any of this nonsense about, you know, carbon footprint, blah, blah. It's like, everyone's just trying to make money, right? So, uh, money, money, money. Uh, and also some thoughts about heavy, heavy philosophy. Um, yeah, so what is the heaviest, most durable form of money on the planet? Bitcoins, it could last a thousand, ten thousand years. Uh, any other assets, even if you own property, a 1.1% uh, tax, right? It might only last 90 years. And so the reason why you want to think long term is, you know, okay, I, okay. I can't speak for everybody, but I think it's a good idea to have a kid, at least one kid, ideally at least two kids, because, uh, you know, the reason we have two kidneys, two lungs, etc., is the chance of, uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of tragic, but, you know, chance of one of your kids not making it until adulthood, uh, quite high. So, memento mori, stoic philosophy is uh, good i mean <laughs> even if i had things my way i'll just create an army of kids just named after my favorite uh stoic philosopher so you know first first bad up obviously my son seneca um i think if i had another kid i would name uh him or her aurelius or you know something else or zeus or hera or Aphrodite or uh, Pallas Athene, Athena, Athena. I think Athena is a good name for uh, for a daughter. But anyways, um, programmable money. So everyone's trying to learn JavaScript and you know Python, blah blahs, right? Now that the ChatGPT01 is incoming, the architects of the future i think it's like you're gonna want to know how the underlying code works the general concepts but also with web design i mean just no basic html like myself right you don't have to know how to program a website from scratch right so it's easier to just download a really good template modify it to your heart's liking rather than learning all the the code from scratch is kind of uh not super useful like kind of like you're not gonna grow your own cow uh don't like learn the learn the bare bare minimum then learn how to edit it based on that rather than learning it from scratch scratch is kind of overrated like even with cooking and food etc like obviously the the virtues of stuff from scratch is it's kind of more of a funsies thing it's not like a virtue thing so anyways uh Heavy, heavy, when that go heavy. Oh, so I just bought this new Titan Fitness calibrated steel plates, the 50 kilograms, which is like 122 pounds. Very, very heavy. Oh, and also pro tip, the best car is the GR Corolla. Oh yeah, I love this car. $42,000, stick shift. Yeah. This is the uh, real man drive a GR Corolla. Um, even the new Sequoia is pretty cool. Actually, funny story. Somebody at the Toyota dealership here in Culver traded in a Cybertruck like five or six months ago. And guess what they ended up buying? Sequoia. Yeah, the Sequoia. If you want the big hybrid penis, 
to drive the the new Sequoia TRD TRD um, but the truth is ultimately when it comes down to it if you want to be the big steel penis in the room cyber truck or nothing actually uh, my vision matte pink cyber truck <laughs> with orange rims Seneca would love that um, but then again once again guys uh, like obviously you should never buy the car the car is more of a a concept and ethos a motto just own it in your mind and uh either buy the stock or uh buy bitcoins like it 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 makes more sense to buy tesla stock than to buy a tesla car so assuming that you know robotoxy is going to take over uh just buy buy tesla stock if you like it and also like seneca loves teslas i mean name name one kid who don't like a tesla car or name one kid who doesn't know what a cyber truck is right and so yeah like kids are the best investors just you know whatever your kids into just invest in that uh so currently if you're in the traditional markets microstrategy mstr uh nvidia you know open ai self-driving car technology etc is tesla um i mean apple I don't know. It's not going to go away anytime soon. But if you want monster extreme gains, uh, don't buy Apple. Uh, I call it the three headless horsemen. Tesla, NVIDIA, and MicroStrategy. And I was like thinking even like if NVIDIA ever comes out with their own phone, standalone phone that doesn't even require Apple or the iOS. Uh, yeah, big, big idea. And apparently in like san jose or something like that somewhere in the bay let's open up like a new two billion dollar factory or something i don't know it looks cindy saw it. she thought it looked uh, pretty cool uh but anyways um you know also amazon i mean amazon's good but since jf bezos pretty much uh pieced out honestly amazon is just like walmart with a good conscience uh if you took amazon or if you took if you took uh took walmart it made it more like costco thank you uh that's that's kind of like what uh the the, the ethos is um everyone's like looking at me it's like who's the dude who's the jacked asian dude with a weight vest and talking to his ipad all right so anyways uh yeah so the heaviest most durable asset is obviously bitcoins um and it's so funny too because people like it's not worth anything i mean obviously it's not but then is their fiat money is your us dollars worth anything uh then people talk about gold right it's like a bar of gold right i think my king midas what can you eat your bar of gold use it as a doorstop uh and actually the the big deal about bitcoin right the reason why i do think it is digital gold or cyber gold someone ever said cyber gold okay we should call it cyber gold because it's not an air token you actually have to use real life energies real life electricity in the real world to produce a bitcoin and it's not a bug it's a feature it's a feature not a bug because if you could just snap your fingers and a trillion ethereum or air tokens comes out of thin air an air token ain't worth nothing because you just have some sort of a nerd push a a button on a computer right and then magically all this value comes out and also the reason why i don't think you should trust vitalik or ethereum blah blahs right is you don't want a central governance structure i mean like if you really do believe in open open source right don't you know that bitcoin is open source money right and from an ethical ethos philosophy perspective the reason why i really love bitcoin is it's like the world's first digital open source money it, it's essentially what paypal tried to be with peter thiel and max levinch the paypal uh squad mafias and also elon uh and they you know they did a, they did a good job but then you know they got bought out and, and you know they could take it in so much further um but uh yeah i think 
the, the hard thing for people is to think first principles, to think from scratch, right? So even uh, one of the best things I recommended was reading Fernandino Galliani's On Money, Della Moneta. It's a whole treatise he written in what, like 1700s on what is money and any sort of real economist or thinker or an entrepreneur is also part philosopher, uh, philosopher And so if one cannot think critically from first principles, then whatever innovations and entrepreneurial things you do, essentially it's not going to have any sort of backbone or spine uh, behind it. Um, and even the purpose of higher education, in my opinion, it should be all about critical thinking, right? Critical, kritikos in ancient Greek means judge, right? So <laughs> there's even this funny sticker that I saw in uh, Providence, Rhode Island at Brown University. It's like resist critical thinking. And uh, it kind of was a, a nice thought. Um, Honestly, like now I see people who are smoking in public. I don't even know what to say no more. Oh, uh, fuck it. Uh, give me a dirty look on it. Um, not with your battles. Actually, the. Yeah, I'm too too into my vlogging, distracted. Gotta be quick on my feet fucking smokers all right anyways i'll figure this out i figured out don't worry guys um so uh i just lost my train of thought actually the hard thing is when you're kind of thinking it is kind of can't think of your feet. all right anyways so the 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 general idea is yeah th thinking first principles thinking carte blanche uh, um i mean honestly it's hard because like 99% of the energies is unlearning all the BS you've learned. And like, in some ways studying sociology was the least harmful major for myself because it kind of challenged what I was indoctrinated with, at least in high school and beyond. Um, and it helped me unsocialize myself a lot, which is good. But then again, also the problem in sociology as a field, it has its own new set of uh, indoctrination, which try to make you think like a sociologist, whatever, right? Which is kind of uh, not super useful. Um, so basically what I think is, because <laughs> I studied the sociology to unlearn what you learned in high school and beyond, right? K through 12. And then once you learn sociology, you gotta <laughs> give yourself your own self-education to unlearn the sociologies of modern day academia because honestly you know the whole academic structure it's kind of a, a zero-sum non-energy conservative nonsensical thing so yeah so just break free think carte blanche think for yourself suckers Good morning.